Hey, Peach! Hey! What? I watched a lot of cartoons growing up. There's the one where a kid enslaved a rodent and made it kill cute little animals. The one where a kid battles other kids to death, but in a card game. And whatever the heck was going on in Digimon. But as cool as those shows were, for whatever reason, my favorite show was about a kid who didn't fight anyone or enslave any creatures. He had other problems like needing glasses or accidentally exposing himself to his entire class. <laughs> Arthur is a show about everyday kids going through everyday problems and there was something about that that appealed to me at the time. And I say was a show because it appears that after 25 years, Arthur will finally be coming to an end. As many of you know, I'm still a big fan of Arthur to this day. I'm not sure how you could tell. Maybe it was all the videos that I made or maybe it was the shrine in my closet. And I say, hey. I DID IT FOR YOU, ARTHUR! <laughs> but as much as I may love it, to a lot of people, it's just that old kid show with all the internet memes. But I want to show that it's more than just the memes. It's actually really good. I mean, it has all these funny and iconic memes for a reason, right? So we're going to take a look at a couple episodes today, specifically a couple episodes where the best memes come from. Everybody grab your Arthur mug, take a sip of your Arthur juicy juice. <laughs> Now let's get started. But first, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. Hey, I had to pay for all that stuff for the Arthur Shrine somehow. The internet is a scary place filled with DDoS attacks, malware-ridden websites, and much, much more. Which is why you need a VPN. And if you're gonna get a VPN, you might as well go with the best VPN out there, NordVPN. What does NordVPN do? Well, not only does it protect you on the internet with little to no effect on your latency, it can give you more privacy by disguising your IP address, which is useful for tons of different reasons, not the least of which is all those pesky targeted advertisements you see on websites. And you can even change your virtual location with the thousands of different servers in 59 countries. For example, you can set yourself up in the UK and watch shows on Netflix like uh, Rick and Morty, which are not available in my country. And if you want the absolute best part is that I can offer you a special deal. If you use my link in the description, nordvpn.com slash peeves, you can get a major discount on two years of NordVPN. Plus, you get an additional four months for free. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring me. And again, check the link in the description for that special discount. All right, let's go. But wait, peeves, you know what we always say. What's, What's the, the meme? meme of the episode? I've never said that in my life. The first meme from DW's name game, Arthur Season 2, Episode 19A, is... That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Which, according to KnowYourMeme.com, is used to express persistence in the face of better judgment. For example... YouTube comments, no more Arthur videos. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Those comments aren't appreciated, by the way. Normally at the beginning of each episode, Arthur breaks the fourth wall to address the audience, but this time we've got his little sister DW instead. And it's all about how Arthur is the worst big brother in the whole world. Not only do we get two memes in one episode, we get two memes in one intro segment because the meme for this episode comes shortly after this. That sign can't stop me because I can't read. Two memes in one episode. I'm telling you guys, this show is pure gold. Taste it. After the intro, DW is sitting with her twin friends, Timmy and Tommy, discussing ideas about how she can get back at Arthur for being a big, stinky butthead or whatever. The ideas involve hypnotizing him and a guy holding a piano? They're not very good. So the conversation devolves into insulting each other instead. DW Dimwit, don't call me names, Goopy. While DW Dimwit is the better insult objectively, I have to say I'm kind of a fan of Goopy. Luca, you're Goopy. The f you say to me, you little s <laughs> You look just like me. If I'm Goopy, so are you. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> Since she's apparently so good at insults, they've decided that's how she'll get back at Arthur. You're not the boss of me, Mr. Goopy. DW, please move your big, enormous, large, gopher-looking head. <gasps> Arthur said my face looks like a watermelon except for the bad haircut! Stop! He's already dead! Man, this show 
Oh, it's so savage. It's not just this episode either. There's tons of examples of epic burns, especially in the earlier seasons. Without lights, you'd have to shop in the dark. Oh, sorry. I guess you already do. It's only children, DW. A lonely child is what you're gonna be when I sell you. People say this show is educational, but I don't know. I feel like I learned more about how to insult other kids growing up than I ever did about the frickin' library. They eventually trick their babysitter into giving them more elaborate words for their insults, probably my favorite being DW calling Arthur. Distended for meaning cake. She just called him fat. DW, that's not very PC of you. And that's not the only time she calls him fat in the show either. That's your after school snack? No wonder you need husky pants. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> In retaliation, Arthur just yells her full name at her over and over, which for some reason is super effective. She then goes to bed and we're treated to a dream segment, something this show does often, which I love. In the dream, DW is in her happy place, although I wouldn't blame you for thinking it was a nightmare because holy crap. Evil Arthur shows up to shout her name at her some more. So she goes to the library to meet the Saurus to get a word that'll finally take Arthur down for good. The perfect name to call Arthur is. And in perfect nightmare fashion, he freaking melts to death. Ah! Ah! And then she wakes up, makes up with Arthur, and then everything's good. Oh, but it's still a dream. Oh, sheesh. <gasps> Look at this stupid football head. I'm uh, not football head. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Don't call people names. You fish, you ugly purple eyed fish head. Yo, you better shut the heck up or I'm gonna kick your ass. Uh, you're a basketball <laughs> head. Who call head. you that head? Big eyes. <laughs> I'm not a basketball head. We didn't mean to hurt your feelings. What's with the quick change of heart? They're mercilessly insulting him and then they're like, oh, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Sit down, you stupid kid! Oh, please stop. <laughs> you're hurting me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pixel head. <laughs> they didn't want anything to do with Picklehead. Just move on. This kid is not interesting enough to be on TV. Stupid Picklehead. You are a big A-head. This is the same kid from 10 seconds ago. You didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. He didn't learn his lesson at all. This kid is canceled. No, Don't call no, names no, because no, kids no, have no, feelings no, too. Good job. I hate to be this harsh to a bunch of elementary school kids, but these face masks are really not very creative. I swear every single one of them is either a sports ball or a food. I mean, come on, surely they can come up with something better than that. Monster Head. Meme episodes. At the beginning of this video, I said Arthur doesn't fight anybody. Well, that's not technically true. Arthur actually does fight someone, at least sort of, in what might be the most famous moment in the entire show. Falling out of a window shouldn't be able to break it. I told you not to touch it. You built it all wrong. Did you even read the directions? It didn't fly for one second. It's not my fault if you made a plane that can't fly. I told you not to. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up.
America's rather longest-running children's cartoon is coming to an end. After 25 seasons, PBS Kids has announced that they won't make any more episodes of Arthur. The Arthur Fist Meme from Season 4, Episode 1B, Arthur's Big Hit. The episode starts with Arthur building a model airplane. It's clear that he's putting a lot of time and effort into it over the course of a few days until he eventually finishes it. It's the best thing I ever made. And then he has a daydream about winning the Blue Ribbon. The coveted Blue Ribbon Award. <laughs> this little brat thinks he's something special just because he put glue and some paint on a cardboard. I always love Arthur's self-aggrandizing daydreams, a reoccurring gag in the show. Arthur is the perfect eight-year-old boy. But DW not only doesn't understand the concept of a model plane. I've never heard of toys that come already broken. She also doesn't respect it or respect Arthur's dedication or respect anything at all. She's an absolute demon child. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why don't you go back to your own house and stop bothering us? <laughs> Got he. Reasons why Arthur should punch his sister. She's annoying, she startles Arthur while he works, she touches the plane while the paint is wet and blames it on him. Mommy, Arthur made my hands orange. She touches the plane when he clearly told her not to touch it. She throws it out the window and it breaks and then blames him again. Arthur, you made that plane all wrong. And she doesn't even come close to apologizing for it. Reasons why Arthur shouldn't punch his sister. I don't know, it's... wrong. I told you not to touch it! Arthur not only gets in trouble at home. You're bad. Bad Arthur. Bad boy. Said mom. He also gets shamed by all the kids at school, none of whom are taking his side. Why can't anybody see my side of this? Because you're wrong. <laughs> Hashtag Arthur is over party, unfollowed and blocked on Twitter. But the one who's most upset is Binky Barnes, much to the surprise of his tough guy friends who dare him to punch Arthur to prove he really is as tough as he says he is. And long story short, he does. So Arthur, finally able to empathize with DW getting hit by someone bigger than her, apologizes and she, in turn, apologizes back. And I'm sorry I broke your plane. Well, she sort of apologizes anyway. But what kind of a stupid plane doesn't fly? I'm sorry you feel like I broke your plane, but it didn't actually fly right. <laughs> DW is super annoying through this whole episode, which is made worse by the fact that her parents never scold her a single time. Arthur, this means no TV for a week. You don't even care what she did to me. We'll deal with what she did. Oh, will ya? It's been 22 years since I originally saw this episode, and I'm still waiting to see it. And since this is one of, if not the most famous episode, I feel like DW gets a bad rap, which sucks, cuz even though I also hated her as a kid, she's probably my favorite character now, and she's definitely the funniest. Binky learns to not fall for peer pressure, Arthur learns not to punch his sister even though she deserves it, and DW learns absolutely nothing. And we all learned that Arthur is the greatest show ever made. Right? Yes. Well, it's actually a little late now. I guess I spent too long watching old Arthur episodes. I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, see you guys next time. <laughs> Wow, it's perfect. I'm sorry.
It was just a dream. Oh, sheesh. <gasps> hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see another one. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Check out another Arthur video here, or check out an Arthur video on Peeps. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. No wonder you need husky pants. <laughs>